What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Rosel. Uh, just going to test out this track for you guys. Let's just see how this goes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Y'all know I always keep the goodies. I keep the goodies. <laughs> well, anyway, check it out. Uh, got a comment from this uh, dude. Uh, sent me an email. He wanted to know why... Um, Ooh, I just like that though. But anyway, he just want to know why I do my reasons the way I do it. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll let him know. Um, so let me hit stop right there for a second. We'll get back into the zone. Um, the reason, well, I don't think he was talking about this part. Okay, so this is what he was talking about. The reason why I have um, the redrums inside of... Um, a, a combinator. Actually, this combinator should be jam packed. Let me just put that in there. Okay. And um, the reason why it is like this because uh, I don't like looking for drums and certain sounds. So I make certain kits for myself. Like this is a kick one, this is kick two, but all the way across is all kick drums down here all kit drums and then we come here some clamps so bounce claps meaning these should be some clamps i can bob my head to you see what i'm saying um yeah stuff like that you know stuff that i want to use uh snare you know for all snares um and then down here hat percussion so that lets me know it's some hats and some you know some other stuff in here you know yeah, some shakers. Okay. So the reason why it's like that, so every time I open my reasons up, um, it this is the template that I have every time it's open. So once I made it one time, I saved it as a template. As for these, now, as far as the redrums, uh, these are individual kits. I can actually go here, and I can find some other kits. As you can see that I made some hip-hop stuff, um, Slow Love Kit. Yeah, I like it, too. That's a funky kit I made. And Neo Soul, you know, stuff like that. So I made different kits. So depending on what kind of mood I am, I'm, I'm in, I already know what drums I'm going to go ahead and use. So that's just, that's why I, this is set up like it is. Um, let's see here. And and another good thing, this acts, you know, this is a small mixer, um, but it saves you channels up here. So the jam pack, as you can see, all the drums coming in on one track. And then if anything need, you know, more EQing, then, you know, just flip this sucker around, drop an EQ in there somewhere, and whoever needs it, you know, you just EQ that one particular sound. So right here, as you can see, you got a send one and a send two. You can send it out and have it come back, like a reverb or something like that or whatever. So that's why it's set up like this. And... Normally when I'm making a song, yes, it'd be spread out, and then after a while I just minimize it because I have a lot of different things going on. And that's about it. How much time did we use on that one? Uh, oh, we still got plenty of time. So um, let's get into something else. Um, let's see. So I'm going to start the track. I just want to listen to this certain part in the track, so if y'all just give me some time. But enjoy the music, though. Enjoy. Okay, yeah, another thing I, I get a lot of questions on. Um, okay, when I uh, say that I'm running things on the front end, um, on your input channel, uh, if you have Cubase or Reason, I mean, not Reasons, but uh, New Window, um, you should have an input channel, like, for whatever audio that's coming in, uh, whether it's a microphone or an instrument input, but you can set those up over here and name them. 
and so this is right here is a input and it's before processing so this is the sound coming straight from your interface card and it's just hitting the computer front end so none of this stuff um you know right now where if i turn this off um it's pretty much it but right now it's coming in on the front right now we listen to a, a raw feed without the processing or whatever okay that's why i just keep it in that pointer right here on the thing now let's turn some processing power on so i'm gonna come right here and turn these on which they was already on but anyway um when you're on the front end like this and when you hit the record these processes right here these three little programs are taking place before it hits the hard drive so the problem with that is whatever sound you got going on you can't take it away once it's recorded it is it's it's in there it's pretty much it it's in there um now if you want to be non-destructive meaning that you want to put your processes on then you need to come on you know come on down in the mixer you know and well you got your vocals going like i have a vocal track right here um you can put it here this is non-destructive because you can just turn it off if you know you know like what you what you hear so that's that's that little piece but i like mine's on the front end and the reason for that is because if i got my eqs going uh if everything is sounding nice and wet you know there's less processing you know i have to do down here uh, and then once the mic is off, I don't even need these anymore. And then all the tracks that I laid with the vocals, uh, they already have everything. Yes, sir. If I need to put some more compression on it, then, yeah, I'll turn something on and do it. But now I can turn these three little programs off once I'm done with the vocals. So, and that's it. And, yeah, they go to Wave Arts again, um, give them a little promotion on it. I actually like this multiband uh, compressor. Uh, light on the processing power, and um, you can run it on the front end. You can run it hot like I'm doing right now. It's doing a very good job, so I like that. Um, but that's it for the uh, the front end. And then so when you get over here to your vocal mixer, like I'm, I'm over here. Here we go. And as you can see, I have the studio channel on. And I may need more EQ. Like right now, I am bass heavy. So I'm going to go like this. Turn that bass down. Give me a little. There we go. Give me a little middle. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, not too much. I don't want it too bright. I kind of like it a little boomy. Yeah. So there we go. And this, uh, this effect would take place on all the tracks that's laid as far as what's in the verses or what's in the hooks. And... Oh, that's, it gave me a real funky feel right there, but that's cool. So, and if I don't like it, you know, I could just turn this off or anything, and that's about it. Uh, what else we have going? Boom. Eight minutes. Okay. So, anyway, I'm going to play the track, let you all enjoy this track, and, uh, you know, keep hitting me up, and uh, I'm just going to play around with the track a little bit and see what I can come up with. All right. Deuces. <laughs> 